What is the best way to prepare psilocybin mushrooms? It turns out there isn't the best way, but rather some nuance in the experienced effects. There is a worse method though, so stick around to find out what that is. Today we'll be comparing the lemon tech method, orange juice method, Coca-Cola, water at different temperatures, and eating raw psilocybin mushrooms themselves. The research comes out of Rose City Labs where they experimented with these different liquids. I'm Aaron, a bioengineer and licensed psilocybin facilitator. Trip Time Essentials is dedicated to psychedelic science, education, and harm reduction. It's not medical advice, and we never encourage the use of illegal substances. Let's start with the worst possible method, mixing mushrooms with room temperature water. The researchers found that the primary compound in mushrooms, psilocybin, immediately turns into psilocin, the molecule that provides the psychoactive effects. This actually disproves the idea that acidity is what converts psilocybin into psilocin. Not only that, but this psilocin immediately starts degrading within the water, as in completely breaking down. By five minutes, the room temperature water has already lost 30% potency of the active compounds. By 15 minutes, it's lost 54%, and it keeps dropping until 60 minutes in which it's almost at zero. So whatever you do, don't mix the mushrooms with plain room temperature water. Next, we'll look at the most popular method, which is lemon tech. Essentially, researchers found that lemon juice is highly effective at preserving total psilocin levels, but also slowing down the breakdown of psilocybin. This allows lemon tech to more closely mimic the effects of just eating the mushrooms, but with less stomach upset and a quicker onset due to some of the conversion to psilocin already starting. It is worth noting that the mushroom material was filtered out in each of these experiments from the liquid. If you're enjoying this video so far, please like, subscribe, and comment down below. Want to be entered in a free giveaway? If you're over 18 in the USA and subscribed, commenting down below will enter you into a, a giveaway for this video with the opportunity to receive a free pre-trip packet. Pre-trip is designed to soothe the stomach, calm the mind, and overall improve the quality of the trip link in the description below. Now the underdog, the orange juice method. What's interesting here is that psilocybin still immediately converts over to psilocin in orange juice, like we saw with the plain water. However, OJ completely preserves this psilocin, preventing degradation over the entire 60 minute period. This means that this is a great method for making sure you don't lose any of the potency. However, it will shorten the experience and cause there to be a faster onset when compared to eating mushrooms and lemon teching. I won't spend much time on the Coca-Cola method, but to sum it up, it is nearly identical to the orange juice with full conversion to psilocin and solid preservation over the entire 60 minutes. Then the tea method with water. If you saw our last video on mushroom tea, we go deep into how this works, but basically if you're making mushroom tea, you must pour 100 degrees Celsius or boiling water into the mushroom powder. It is best to consume within 15 minutes, but there is some flexibility here. Interestingly, the 100 C water preserves some of the psilocybin, bringing about a more normal or lemon tick like experience. Even 80 degrees Celsius water does not accomplish this psilocybin preservation, and you may lose 15 to 20% of the active compounds within even just five minutes. So if you're making tea, it's gotta be using boiling water. Of course, allowing it to cool to a drinkable temperature is necessary. This method is an intermediate between lemon juice and orange juice. Psychoactive effects occur more quickly than lemon juice, but slower than orange juice. To reduce worry about losing active compounds, lemon juice can always be added to the tea as well. Now, maybe the most surprising finding coming out of Rose City Labs is their newer study placing ground mushrooms in artificial stomach acid, gastric juice. They actually found nearly full preservation of psilocybin, even more so than the lemon juice. This completely disproves the idea that stomach acid normally converts psilocybin into psilocin. The authors suggest this dephosphorylation is probably happening in the liver. This means that simply eating mushrooms will yield the slowest onset and longest duration out of all the possible consumption methods. So to sum it all up, there is no best method, but rather a variety of techniques that will have a slightly different timing and intensities of effects. 
For the fastest onset, peak experience, and potentially shortest total duration, the orange juice method or Coca-Cola method will be the best bet. These are by far going to be the tastiest as well. For an in-between option that still allows some psilocybin conversion to happen in the body, the options are lemon tech or a carefully brewed mushroom tea. Then for a classic mushroom onset, simply eating the mushrooms will provide the slowest effects, probably the longest total duration, and allow most of the conversion of psilocybin to occur within the liver. Whatever you do, don't ever just mix with room temperature water. This is the worst way. Check out our other videos on how to lemon tech or how to make mushroom tea. And as always, thank you guys for watching.